Hi guys, um, so as promised I'm going to make the soap this afternoon. Um, I still need to weigh out my oils so the first thing I'm going to do is to weigh out all my different oils. I'm using four different oils. I'm using coconut oil, olive oil, palm oil and sunflower oil. Um, I've never used this combination before so it's purely to test how it works. Um, I'm not going to make you watch me measure out all my oils so I'll be back when I've done that. Okay so I've got my two liquid oils, my sunflower oil and my olive oil in this container. Um, I've got my hard oils, so my palm oil and my coconut oil um, are currently in the microwave to make them liquid and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine them all in one container. Okay so I've got all my oils in the container now, they are a little bit warm. Um, I've got my mould ready, I've got my two micas ready, I've got my fragrance oil ready and my isopropyl alcohol. Um, I'm going to be doing an in the pot swirl so I've got a second pot to pour off a little bit to mix with the yellow and then pour it back in before it goes in the mould. So got my stick blender. I'm just going to pour off some of this. I haven't measured it, I'm just guessing. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of yellow in one. It is already quite yellow, so I'm not going to put in too much. Again, I'm, I'm not measuring. I probably should, but I'm not. I'm using the Arctic Pearl from the Soap Kitchen um, and I am using Buttercup Yellow from the Soap Kitchen. I'm just going to stir those in by hand. put them together you can well I don't know if you can see but this one's a lot more yellower yellower more yellow so all I'm gonna do now is add the fragrance oil in which is pina colada I'm gonna put half in here and half in here it's all gonna go back in again ready to pour. I'm going to take my white solution and I'm just going to pour it in the corner. I think my mixture is still a little bit too runny but to get a proper swirl but we'll see how it goes I maybe should have brought it to a bit thicker before I did this but we'll see then I'm going to just pour this I'm just going to swirl it a little bit where's my corner and then pour it into my mold
have an old knitting needle I'm just gonna just in case the pattern shows on the top this is absolutely far too runny and the swirl is absolutely terrible but it's faint so it counts There we go. I will now put those to the side and come back in um, tomorrow afternoon, so around 24 hours, um, and I'll unmold them and I will cut them. I don't know if you can see the swirl, but there's a little bit of a swirl up here and just down in the corner you can see the very slight two colours. It reminds me more of a lemon meringue than a pina colada, but there we go. I might do it again with a lemon meringue flavour. And there's my other little soap, so yeah. Hi guys, um, so I've decided I'm far too impatient to wait for the full 24 hours. Um, it's only about three hours early and I have checked the soaps and they are quite hard already. So let's go ahead and unmould them and do the fun part, which is the cutting. So they came out nice and easily, which is nice. Um, and I don't, I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up. The lighting's not very good in here, but you can, you can kind of see some bits of yellow, some bits of white. Um, so that's good. I'll try and get a better photo to post later. So this is the cutter that I'm going to use. Um, it did come with one of the stainless steel blades where you can just cut it. I find that. It kind of ruins the texture a little bit. I prefer to slice with a wire. So I've got one of these. So I'm just going to set up the size that I want. And there's our first one so you can see it's it, it's got a little bit of a swell in it which is nice Okay, so for the smaller bars, what I'm going to do is because they're not as deep, I'm going to make them slightly wider.
and there we go so now they're all cut and um, what I'll do is I'll transfer these upstairs to my drying rack um, and in about four weeks hopefully they'll be finished curing um, and hopefully fingers crossed they'll still look okay